Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett in my hands is Bunny Birds, and rather interesting graphic novel by Natalie Lynn. Uh, so this is an advanced review copy. Uh, it's not complete. There's a lot of uh, black and white pages. The color is only for a bit of it. Uh, but, you know, you still can read the story, get a general sense of the art and uh, vibe of the graphic novel as a whole. And I just think this one's okay. This doesn't quite, like, hook me... Uh, like I was hoping. So it's, it's described as a sweeping new animal fantasy, perfect for fans of Warriors, The Guardian Herd, and Wings of Fire. I know none of those things. Um, so it doesn't really, you know, get me at all as far as that. Uh, this is a, it's an interesting graph novel for younger kids. Um, when it comes to, I would say age-wise, this is 8 to 12. I'd probably put it maybe on the younger end of that, like 8 to 10. Uh, this, so the story is about this uh, Princess Aster who's a bunny bird, exactly what it sounds, part bunny, part bird, uh, and there is a bunch of bunny birds that have, like, disappeared uh, to potentially the uh, underworld or whatever you want to describe it, like, off the, the edge of the world that the bunny birds live on. Uh, so Princess Aster decides to travel to uh, this land uh, and see exactly what's going on. Um, but the story is like really more about the bunny birds themselves like this is a group that kind of lives in I say a fantasy world where like they bring joy everything's great it's like is it really you know are they um you know as happy as they claim they are are things as like fantastic as they claim they are uh, this is kind of more of what the the graphic novel is about uh it's got some like scope of fantasy a bit it's it's got its moments that are interesting but honestly i was just i was kind of bored with it um it, it just feels like it drags on a bit too long um lose my interest it lost my interest probably like halfway through uh it just kind of just is a little plotting um so yeah i like i don't think maybe younger kids will like it but at the same time i think they're going to kind of get bored with it so it's one where there's potential. I just, I, I, I just think there's a lot out there that's that's really, really solid, and I'd probably go with before this. Um, so yeah, I like feel bad on it, but this one just isn't quite for me. Um, I do like the concept though, and it teases of more. So like maybe we'll see more down the road, but right now on this one, I'm just it's it's not for me. I you know, hate to say it, not for me, but not everything is. Uh, so yeah, you know, maybe younger readers will enjoy it. I honestly think they're going to get kind of, like, tired of it. So, unless they're really into fantasy, like hardcore fantasy, I, I don't see this one really, uh, hooking them. You can go get it in shops. Yeah, in shops, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code, tell shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. They're affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. And by doing that, you'll support our site. So thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Holiday House for hooking us up with the review copy. And thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Till next time, keep reading those comics and keep a key. -key. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.